Hi, and welcome to Coding with Jesse. I'm Jesse Skinner, and I'm working through a React.js demo. So in part one, I converted an HTML page into a single React component. And in this part, I'm going to split that component up into multiple components so that we simplify our code a bit. So I have this question here on my form that has multiple radio buttons with options. So if I go to my React component that I've created, uh, demo.jsx, you can see these, uh, this repetition here. So I have a paragraph with a label, uh, a value, and uh, some label text there. And this is repeated over and over. So what I'm going to do is create a component for my radio option. And uh, I'll call it just that. So I'm going to create a new component. I'm going to make a new file here. I'm going to call it radio, radio option.jsx. And I'm going to create a React comp uh, class, it's called. And inside that, I'm going to have a single render method. And I'm going to return some HTML. So the HTML I want to return is that paragraph with some text and a value. So I'm going to just take this newspaper option, copy that, and paste it into my render function. And now the thing is, that since I have this repeating, I want to be able to have um, the value change for each one, and I want to have the label change for each one. So the way you do this is uh, through properties. So if I want to replace, say, this newspaper option, what I'll have instead of a paragraph is a radio option, because that's what I named my component. And I want to have the value equals newspaper. And then what I can do is use children for the label. Well, there's two ways to do this. So I could either have a label attribute where I say newspaper, or what I can do is use children. And what that means is the contents of the radio. So I'm going to use children to say newspaper inside here, and then I'll have a closing radio option tag. So whatever you name your component, you can name it whatever you want, and then that becomes the a custom tag, which is kind of cool. So it makes it a lot simpler. And you know, you can do indenting. I'm gonna I can do this, so it just makes it easier to read. So I have this radio option value equals newspaper instead of having a paragraph, a label, an input, and then text. So I'm just gonna do that for the first one, make sure that that's working, and then I can go and replace it for all the others. So what I what I do inside radio option to actually use those properties is um, inside value, I want to use the property, the value property that I've passed in. So the way I do that is this dot props dot value. And I do that inside curly braces. And I do it instead of inside quotes. Now, if I did this with quotes, it wouldn't work. So what this is doing, is it's part of uh, the JSX syntax. It's kind of a templating language. And that's going to pass the value property through to the input and set it as the value on the input. Now, if I want to use the children, the contents of the radio option tag, the way I do that is with a special children property that looks like this, this.props.children. And that should be enough for it to work. So if I go to my web page and refresh, let's see if that actually did work. No, it broke. So I did something wrong. Oh, radio option is not defined. And this makes sense. I didn't actually link my new component onto the HTML page. So I'll go to my HTML page, I have my demo component linked in, and now I just need to also have my radio option component linked in. And again, I have type equals text JSX there. It's important. So if I go back to my web page, let's see if that did the trick. Yeah, that worked. So I have my newspaper option here. Looks the same as it did before. 
which is good. And now I can replace the other options with the same one. So I go back to my demo and I can basically copy paste and replace the options. So I need one for radio, I need one for television, I need one for search engine and social media. Uh, so I'm just gonna replace the values for each of those. Television is the next one. Television or TV, I called it. Doesn't really matter. And what are the other two? Search engine and social media. So search, search engine, and then social, social media. And that'll replace these options. So my code is a little bit simpler. I have less repetition. I still have repetition, but less so. And uh, I'm going to actually get rid of some of that repetition in the next part. Um, now, the last one here is special because I have a text box as part of this other option. So I can't easily reuse my radio option. So what I'm going to do instead is make a special other option that can contain that and then I can reuse that elsewhere. So I'm going to make a second component, call it radio other option.jsx and it's basically going to be the same thing but it'll have different HTML in it. So I'm going to do react.create class. I'm going to pass it in a render method. I'm going to return my HTML. And this should just be a simple copy paste of that over to here. And that's that. And then I can replace this with simply um, radio other option. Change this. And this is just going to be a self-closing tag because I know it's always going to say other. I know the value is going to be other, so it, there's nothing I need to set with the properties. And so that's basically it. I've added some extra components to simplify my code. If I go back to the browser and refresh, oh, it broke. Oh, of course, same problem as before. I need to link in my radio other option file. So I'll just copy paste, add that in, refresh, and it's all working great. So I'm going to do just one little thing here. If I go back to my HTML page, uh, in the last part, I used react.createElement to create my demo element. Uh, what I could do instead, actually, is create use an actual tag here of my demo component. So that's sort of like I just did for the radio other option. And then I don't need React Create Element. So the reason you can use React Create Element is if you don't want to use the JSX syntax of having XML in your code. So there's always there's two ways to use React. One is with JSX with XML, and the other is using the React methods like Create Element to create your components for you. So you always have both options. Uh, sometimes. JSX is nice, but if you don't want to have XML in your code, or if, uh, if you can't for whatever reason, then you can use react.createElement. So, but here I can get away with just using uh, JSX, and it looks a lot cleaner. And if I refresh, everything should be working. So that takes care of it for this part. Uh, in the next part, I'm going to get rid of some of that repetition and make it so I can pass in a list of options and have that loop over that list and render all my options. All right, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.